What if there was an easier way to catch waves? There's a lot of frustration in surfing and my gosh, I've had my fair share of it trying to be a professional surfer. Um, being a surf coach, standing on the beach, frustrated with the person in the water. Making surfboards, trying to figure out what the person needs to make them a better surfer. So I've, I've had my fair share of frustration, but if surfers knew this one thing, it would change the way they go about catching waves and it would make their lives easier. I wasn't the strongest, biggest kid. I was always pretty scrawny. And I just felt that other kids or other surfers caught waves easier than me. And I would just oh, paddle so hard and try so hard to catch waves. And it almost just was like a panic paddle causing stress and anxiety. And then you watch some guys just glide into waves and it's just like, how the hell are these guys making this thing look so easy? It's been a 36 year long journey trying to figure out all this knowledge. And most people will paddle with the chin really low and they'll just try to ramp up the volume. If you watch someone drown, they pull water and they don't go anywhere. So if you paddle a little bit less, a little bit smoother, but when the wave starts to lift the tail, right, lean back. Don't allow it to lift the tail. When this happens, the board will get pushed forwards and it's the least amount of effort you will need to put into catching a wave. If the wave lifts you up, you're not going anywhere and you're not traveling. If anything, it's just getting steeper. That's gonna cause some anxiety. However, if the wave pushes you, you're going to start planing earlier, your board's going to stabilize, and you're going to get into the wave better. Betty took my left arm so I can smack her anymore. Not that I would do it anyway. I'm a sensitive male. So I love Beth Hamilton's technique. She's almost got 50% less paddle power. So she didn't go out and get a big web and just try paddle faster and improve that 50% ratio. What she did is she got smarter about her positioning. Where the wave starts to draw off the bottom and start to push her, she leans back into that push and she uses the wave to catch a wave, which is brilliant. And, and I always do this thing where I like sit or sometimes I'll like sit back and push my tail into the water and then like do the little like, ooh, like get going forward, propel myself. It's almost like you want to learn how to paddle less. You want to learn how to relax so you've got the right mindset to catch the wave. When you paddle less, you've got more time to read the wave and make the right decisions. And then you will start to feel and you can make little adjustments according to what you feel. So my question to you is this, do you want to ramp up your effort or do you want to ramp up your knowledge about how to catch waves? Man, she took my brain out, so I'll...